What's up, Aries? Welcome to your July reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We'll be taking a look to see what messages need to come through for you guys for the month of July. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on for you. I hope that you're doing well. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information for that's in the description down below. And if you want to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Tarot. And with that being said, let's get right into this reading. The deck is ready and Spirit has some messages for you. So let's get into it messages for aries summarizing venus in the month of july 2022 what's going on what's the vibe what are my aries gang you know we have the bear coming out so you are initiating something new aries and i would say that the first few steps are the most challenging but it's going to really pay off in the long term and just to keep your consistency keep your focus yeah changes are coming very very soon changes in the wind also we have the owl at the bottom of the deck trust your inner wisdom trust your intuition your intuition could be picking up on some sort of feeling or energy or vibe whatever it is that you're feeling Aries it is um, your intuition coming through trying to guide you or trying to direct you to take some sort of action or to trust some sort of gut feeling that you have whether it's about a situation or a person that you're dealing with um, you have the wisdom and the inner knowledge to basically see what's what's far ahead we have the hawk out here the hawk is all about seeing things from a very high perspective it's bird eye view right so it's like you're able to oversee your future when we come to when we talk about the bear what am i saying when we talk about the bear this new energy this is a journey that you're starting in the month of july you may have already started this or initiated something or there's something that is beginning or taking off in july and i do feel like you have a sense of knowing um about like the bigger picture you have an idea you have a clear um perspective as to what your intentions are what your goals are and what your what your future looks like you have a clear vision as to what you are shooting for what you're taking action for now i do have to just throw out there like although you may have things planned or you may have a good idea as to what you're going after what it is that you're pursuing um or initiating here i do just have to point out that there may be some divine orchestration at play here where things that you plan may not fully um come to fruition because there's something better that the universe is trying to bring into your life so just keep that in mind like when some things don't work out or don't go the way that you planned it's usually because there's a bigger picture that you're just not aware of so just remember that in moments where you're like wow why didn't this work out or oh my goodness this is taking longer than i expected it's like there's always a bigger plan and just to have faith have trust in it and sometimes the hawk talks about unexpected turn of events or unexpected um situations that come up where maybe you have a decision to make or maybe you are being redirected to something else so just really trust in that have faith in yourself again like i said the first few steps of this journey may be the most challenging maybe the most difficult or um testing but it is going to pay off in the long term in the long run and we also have the shark out here so the shark does talk about emotions that are being brought up um so there could be a situation revolving around like a relationship where maybe you're needing to be honest or express how you really feel it's almost like for some of you a group i'm picking up on you want to keep a situation peaceful you want to keep a relationship peaceful but at the same time you are not at peace within you there's something within you that's feeling a little bit irritated or upset or annoyed and it's like you need to address whatever this thing is you need to have a conversation or you need to be honest with somebody all right i do feel like honest conversations can bring positive change so i believe that's actually what we we're talking about in your last reading it was a love reading i was mentioning for the group i was picking up on is like um you're dealing with a person who you know needs to pick up a little bit or needs to give the same energy that you've been giving to them maybe you need to have an honest conversation with them so that could be kind of like a continuation of the last reading but we're just going to keep it at that you're needing to be honest you need to address some things it does look like there could be a bit of a cycle that you have been repeating but you have the opportunity to change that lessons are being learned here you're stepping out of your comfort zone and again in the bear we have the sun in this card at the very top so it's like whatever it is that you're stepping into or whatever it is that you are initiating this month it does pay off in the long term and it's going to bring a lot of fulfillment and a lot of happiness so overall pretty good energy pretty good vibes let's put some tarot messages let's see what else is going on for you for aries sun moon rising venus in the month of july 2022 what do my aries people need to know 
This deck doesn't want to shuffle. Um, I'm gonna try one more time. All right. Messages for Aries, summarizing Venus in the month of July. We have the Three of Swords along with the Seven of Swords. Messages for Aries, summarizing Venus. We also have the Knight of Wands reverse and the Lovers reverse. You're dealing with someone who's flaky. You're dealing with someone who's inconsistent, wishy-washy. Four of Cups, Magician reverse, Page of Cups, Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords at the bottom, and Six of Swords. You're moving away from this. Basically, I'm picking up on a group where um you're kind of getting to this point where you're realizing like someone's not putting in the same amount of effort in this relationship that you have and this relationship it could be friendship it could be family it could be business it doesn't have to apply to romance for some for sure but there's definitely the energy where you're feeling upset you're feeling pretty hurt and i do feel like you're trying to detach from this situation i feel like you're trying to remove your emotions from um the picture trying to just stay analytical rather than get all caught up in your feelings but obviously your feelings are affected by this and you're feeling pretty disappointed maybe really really hurt for some there could have been a deep deep betrayal here with the ten of swords it does seem like you're overcoming it with the nine of wands over here right um but it, it is a bit of a struggle and i do think you're needing to sit with your emotions and like acknowledge what you're feeling acknowledge the pain acknowledge the anger acknowledge any of that feeling like we were saying with the shark anything that you maybe been trying to suppress or trying to deny like oh i don't really care that doesn't really bother me or i don't care about that person but like deep down you really do just embrace it just acknowledge it rather than trying to run away from it because that's only going to create issues down the line okay and then you find yourself in similar situations because you didn't learn the lessons so just keep that in mind it's like just sit with it feel it it sucks i know but this too shall pass. There's a lesson here that you can learn from the situation. But yeah, the energy I'm seeing here with the Knight of Wands reverse and the Lovers reverse, Gemini energy, by the way. Um, that's We have a lot of air come out in this reading, so you could be connected with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it does seem like you're dealing with a relationship where the energy, the feelings, the effort isn't being reciprocated here. There's a lot of this wishy-washy, inconsistent, back and forth, start quick, end quick. And it's just, it's, it's tiring, it's exhausting and you're not satisfied with this you're not happy with this we have the four of cups out here it's just like it has you questioning your worth it has you questioning your value um this is not like your desired outcome here magician reverse you didn't want this so i do feel like you're really unsatisfied with the direction this situation went and um again some of you could be addressing this some of you could be having a conversation about this with the page of cups you might be opening up about your feelings or communicating like hey like Let's just get this out of the way. Like, if you don't feel the same way, cool. But, like, let me know so I can move on with my life, right? So that's kind of, like, the vibe I'm seeing here. But I do see that you are overcoming this this setback. It does feel like it's a setback. Some of you feel like you invest lots of time and energy into someone, and then it was all for nothing. Like, that's how you feel. Um, I don't think it was for nothing, but that's how it feels, right? You're just like, damn, I wasted all this energy, all this time, all this love, all this effort on someone who's not even worthy. Like right and that's, that's a tough pill to swallow but it does seem here with the nine of wands with the ten of swords and the six of swords you're moving on from this it is requiring a lot of strength a lot of determination just like to keep moving forward stay focused and just know that things will change for you in the near future and again like rejection is redirection so if you were rejected or if you were let's say maybe you were dealing with if this is regarding like love for example and maybe you're dealing with someone who had other options and they chose someone else over you that is their loss and also you know what that just means that there's something better coming your way aries and it has nothing to do with you keep moving forward and um don't let this get you down for too long okay i don't think you will be down for too long but you know it's it's it does hurt it does hurt the the hurt's there. You may have found out someone lied to you. You may have found someone kept a secret from you. We have the Seven of Swords out here. Maybe someone stole from you or, um, you know, lied about their intentions here. Uh, you could have been dealing with um, a fire sign. We also have the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Wands, which is like fire energy. So just a lot of flaky, inconsistent energy. And you're realizing, like, I don't have the time, the energy for this in my life. And so basically, if you're going to walk on my life, 
make sure you close the door on the way out don't leave it open because you know you <laughs> you ever have like someone close the door but they don't close the door it's like a gap open it's just like just fucking close it just close it don't keep it open just a sliver like just close it if you're gonna leave just close the fucking door too please like damn <laughs> it's the least you could do anyways we're gonna clarify we're gonna get a little bit more detail um get a little bit more insight we'll definitely be taking a look into the six of swords and see like what are you moving towards um but just to get a little bit more clarity as to um this situation let's take a look into this knight of wands reverse lovers reverse for aries sun moon rising venus in the month of july 2022 and yeah that's the thing with the owl that was at the bottom of the animal spirit deck your intuition could have known this your intuition kali was like yeah this person isn't gonna be uh reliable or loyal dependable um or this was gonna start quick and quick but like maybe you t maybe you doubted yourself maybe you made excuses for this person's behavior gave them the benefit of the doubt seen the seen the good in them um and then you know this shit happens and you're like damn i'm a fool you're not you're not but it's you know sometimes it's hard to have a positive out positive outlook on these situations we have death coming out scorpio energy this is over this is done with um <clears throat> I don't think you're really interested in starting anything new here we do have the three of pentacles so maybe this is regarding work or someone that you collaborated with this could be someone in your friendship circle we have the six of wands reverse oh is this like a flaky friend prince of swords reverse eight of cups at the bottom some of you this is not even revolving love this is about a friendship someone who's just in and out of your life only comes to you when it's convenient to them um when they have no one else to go to no one else to turn to oh aries will have my back i'll go to aries when they need something it's like they came to you out of the convenience and you kind of realize that and yeah that shit hurts it definitely hurts you feel like you gave them a lot of your time your energy your support it seems like you could have been a really supportive friend or like a solid person in their life and this person took that for granted that person um you may feel like you've been used by this person right and anyways it seems like you're putting this to an end here with death and on also at the bottom we have the eight of cups i'll take a peek underneath that but six of wands reverse and the prince of swords reverse yeah this is just someone who's it's just it's just screaming flaky energy again like i'm just gonna be repeating myself so we're just gonna move on let's take a look at the bottom so eight of cups temperance and the queen of pentacles and the fool well that's just positive so this is the energy kind of similar to that six of swords you're moving away from this crap you're really just getting back into your strength into your balance realizing like there's gonna be something better out there for me and the less fake love i have in my life that gives me space for real love real genuine friendships love romance connections like that's what matters most and so you are learning from this experience you are learning this lesson and um, i also see that you're healing from this and you're feeling more confident within yourself especially as you're stepping out into this unknown kind of territory similar with the bear right this is this new um new beginning and we have the fool out here representing this new beginning that you're stepping into as you're leaving behind this relationship um it's creating space for better things okay but yes definitely make sure that whatever this lesson is that you like whatever the main lesson is that you can take from this situation make sure that you don't do the same thing again or like you know just know better next time because with that shark that did come out it's like there could be the possibility of having similar encounters or similar situations that show up in different relationships even a brand new relationship friendship that comes in you might notice that there's a similar theme or you're attracting similar people and if you're noticing that there's a main lesson there that you haven't learned yet or there's there's something that you're not seeing that you gotta um take some time to kind of sit with okay so maybe that's what that four of cups is about it's like there's something that you're not seeing you need to dig deeper think outside the box it's your perspective there's a lesson here that you need to learn the sooner you learn it the sooner this will pass okay so let's take a look into that four of cups four of cups with wait what am i saying <laughs> talk about the four of cups for aries in the month of july 2022 deck doesn't want to shuffle so we'll go like that four of cups for aries summarizing venus two of swords yeah kind of like what do, so hold on let me stop talking <laughs> 
four. Okay, ten of wands reverse, four of cups reverse. Hey, okay, all right. It does look like Prince of the Cups, King of Pentacles, Four of Swords. There's rest, recuperation. You really sitting with your feelings. Yeah. So it does look like so initially you're kind of coming to this realization like oh this person isn't really genuine or this person only comes to me when it's convenient to them. That sucks. That hurts. Ouch. So you kind of sit with it and you're like damn like I wouldn't have never done that to them. Why would they do this to me? Is it me? Blah blah blah. Like you're in your head kind of thinking about all these things and so Two of Swords. You're left with two options. You either keep letting this person or it could be multiple people take 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 or you make the choice like fuck this you know let them go and i'm gonna move on so it's kind of like you either kind of stay stay feeling a little sorry for yourself and just kind of stay in this stuck energy as well as attracting the same kinds of people or you have the choice like fuck this i'm gonna learn this lesson i'm gonna push through this and i'm gonna overcome this and make space for better things it's kind of like you're left with the choice like i either can just kind of stay in this sucky situation or take my power back and move my life in a different direction so then we have the ten of wands reverse and the four of cups reverse it's like yeah you know what fuck this i'm letting this go <laughs> ten of wands reverse is all about releasing and the four of cups reverse is like seeing the situation for what it is right before you're like i don't get it why did this happen what could i what 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 why what did i do to deserve this and now you're like oh i get it i see the lesson here i'm not blind to this anymore i understand and now i can move forward right so that's really positive i'm glad so it does seem like you know you could be in that phase right now you're kind of realizing like yeah i just gotta let this go i just gotta let it go i gotta keep moving forward because at the end of the day it's more of a reflect the people in your life that are showing up as like inconsistent or non-committal um that has a lot more to do with who they are, where they're at in their journey, rather than what it is to do with you. Um, also, just have to keep in mind, though, if you're, like, attracting people who are non-committal, you also need to take a look at yourself and be like, in what ways have I been showing up in my relationships as non-committal? Not saying that you have been non-committal areas, but sometimes, sometimes the energy that we put out gets mirrored back to us. So sometimes it takes these situations to make us look at ourselves and be like, oh wait, maybe I've been acting in this way too. Just saying, that's not going to be for everybody. The shoe fits, the shoe fits. If it don't, don't force it. But let's take a look into what you're moving towards with the Six of Swords for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the month of July what is aries moving towards in the near future what can aries expect based off the current timelines right you got your own free will shit can change at any moment uh we have the page of cups along with the queen of wands six of swords for aries the chariot five of swords king of wands reverse and the moon reverse yeah yeah and we have to start at the bottom of the deck you see someone's true intentions no shit we knew it we've been knowing your intuition knew it it's confirmed this person's if you're dealing with someone in romantically involved this person's a player this person's just kind of fucking around with your feelings we know it okay anyways the moon coming out here pisces energy the truth has been revealed to you and now that you have the truth now that you have full-blown clarity on this connection on this relationship you're able to walk away you're realizing like this is just not worth my time this is not worth my energy this person maybe has a lot of pride or they're very very egotistical and you're just realizing yeah i don't i'm not interested in this you might be feeling a bit frustrated you might be feeling a bit angry but you know what you're realizing like this just is not worth it so i'm gonna keep moving forwards chariot queen of wands and princess of cups moving forwards to better connections better relationships better people in your life that you'll be surrounding yourself with um with a chariot this is cancerian energy you could be connected with the cancer you may have cancer placements in your chart but yeah i just see that like you're moving forward with the confidence and with the strength and realizing like there are better people out there in this world and not everybody's gonna be like that last person or whatever and also you're moving towards wish fulfillment you're moving towards um really good times and just to have a positive attitude and just keep pushing forward like i said allow yourself to feel all the shitty shit <laughs> all the shitty shit all the crappy emotions let yourself feel it acknowledge it because if you don't that's just it's just gonna boil up within you and you're gonna explode 
tower not a swords underneath that if you don't let yourself feel it it's gonna get ugly so i would recommend just my two cents i recommend just acknowledge it feel what you're feeling so that you can move on quicker right <laughs> to better things to wish fulfillments to better relationships and all of that all of the above you know so yeah aries it's gonna be okay lesson learned you can overcome this and um you can avoid these situations in the future now that you know better right so it all happens for a reason and even if you don't fully understand that right now this is going to tie into your future it's all going to make sense like it's going to make sense down the line so keep pushing forwards trust in the divine trust in divine's protection because also it's like that's that saying rejections redirections so keep that in mind as well or no rejection is redirection but it's also god's protection whatever the fuck something like that so just remember that um it sucks but you'll get through it and there's something much 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 better that will be coming in so just remember that all right aries i'm gonna let you guys go thank you so much for watching if you resonated let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're not already if you want to book a private reading with me the information for that's in the description down below and i'm gonna let you go thank you for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one